I'm going to give a demonstration on how to use the auto change feature in perfect wallpaper or if you've got uh, multiple screens in multi-monitor wallpaper. I'm going to demonstrate with perfect wallpaper but the steps are almost identical for multi-monitor wallpaper. Uh, so first of all uh, launch the app uh, so double click on perfect wallpaper and uh, you can see the main button auto change and filters. Alternatively there's a shortcut which you can click on the menu icon and click directly on auto change and filters. So the first step is to turn this on um, and click it to auto change however often you want. And what this is going to do is going to find a new image for your uh, desktop wallpaper um, whenever you set this. So here I've got it set to change every 60 minutes. You can set it every five minutes or once a day. I also like it to give me a new wallpaper when the computer wakes up. So we now pick from the options for auto change. So I can use a folder and um, I now pick a folder that I want it to select from. Um, so here I've got a folder that actually if I look at it, it's got multiple folders in it and a perfect wallpaper will dig down one step into those subfolders to find images. Um, and if I click play, uh, it's searching the folders, picking a random image, and here it is, it's kind of set my new background. Um, alternatively, we could go to uh, Pixabay, uh, Pexels, or if you've got membership, uh, Digital Blasphemy. Um, pick one of those, give it a search term. Uh, here I'm going to say uh, kittens. And uh, pick the size uh, that I wanted to search for. So um, HD, 2.5K, 5K, and set it to my screen um, or uh, my screen at retina size. Um, so I'll serve, save that. And if I run this, it's going to go to Pixabay and uh, do a search for kittens and come back with a picture. That's a, that's a cracker there. So if I have more than one search, it's just going to pick randomly uh, between the options. Um, so I can have uh, selecting from different folders, different online sites. Uh, I might have one searching for kittens and one searching for puppies or whatever it is I want to do. Um, so that's pretty much it now. When you know, every 60 minutes I'm going to get a new wallpaper or I can just right click on the menu icon and that will trigger a change um, automatically and there it goes, it picks, picks another one. Um, or I can uh, just tap on it and click change now. And here we go. So there's one more way that I can, um, I can add. Uh, again, if I launch the app, uh, here I'm going to go to new wallpaper. Um, and I can go to the, the browsers. Here I can actually have more of a look at what's going on. So if I open up Pixabay, and let's say I search for um, abstracts. It's one of the suggested searches here. Um, abstracts images, and I can kind of have a look and see what, what these look like. Um, and I can set my uh, size filter. And I say, yeah, I like, I like what I'm seeing here. I can just add this directly to auto change and that will add to my list of options. Um, so that's a, a nice kind of shortcut where I can just kind of see what's happening. Um, and this little suggestion, these are some great um, options for backgrounds that just kind of pick up really, really great looking images. Um, I'm going to add that to auto change as well. So if I close this, go back to auto change and filters, um, and we can see I've got those different options there, landscape, abstract, kittens. One other neat feature is that I can set a global hotkey to change my wallpaper. Um, so I look down at the bottom, set a global hotkey, click on record shortcut, and I'm going to uh, just press uh, Control, Apple, and W. And that's my new hotkey. So now on any app, anytime I can just uh, click Control, Apple, W, and that will change my wallpaper. I've got a squirrel here, I don't know why that happened. <laughs> Maybe that was landscape. Uh, and an abstract one. And, and there it is. Thank you very much. Uh, that's all there is to auto change. I hope you hope you like it. I hope you find that helpful.